Anyway, you told me the name of the game, but I forgot it. Gotta take notes! Idiot! Anyway, that's where I'm at. I see. We'll, um... We'll say that you spend the better part of... Probably about half an hour letting this tiny child read you your fortune. Okay. Oh, right, you actually, I, I actually rolled for my fortune last week, I remember now. You did. My last one wasn't very good. It was not, she laughed at you. I do recall. One sec, I gotta reopen this. this is roll 20 on a new window. Bad things Ooh. happening. My push to talk keeps closing it, yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. so after about half an hour of her reading you various, uh, various fortunes going through, they're different. Types. It looks like she has different sets that have different, well, different fortunes in them. It's, they're basically like content expansion packs. She goes through a bunch, and after a while, after maybe a, about five minutes after you all stop, or you two stop, she throws the cards on the table. Let's out an exasperated sigh. I'm bored. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Suplex that child. Mmm. <laughs> Dexter is not strong. I'll hurricane run of the child. Roll for it. Alright, that would be... hang on. Don't actually yeah, get my character sheet. Hang on. Funny, screen. because they're both probably the same size. <laughs> ah. Alright, that's... Cancel that roll for Herrick and <laughs> It's like a mistake. I've already hurt this kid before. That was a joke roll. Redacted. D-rolled. Alright, so... My, my job description is basically just to watch her, right? Basically. So yeah, I guess I just keep doing my job. And, uh, I don't know. What do you want to do, kid? I want to go outside. You want to go outside, huh? Yeah, we can go outside. Let's go outside. I'll take her outside. That should be fun. She hops up excitedly. Go get your leash. I'll be right here. She gets her leash. You see her disappear into the closet again. You have a little mild panic attack. After a few moments, she comes back with... with boots and... how it looks like a... a, a small coat of some kind. All right, let's go outside. You lead the way, kiddo. Kiddo. She bite. takes your hand and leads you.
We got some fresh air. Some weird stuff going on in this place. So there's like a courtyard out back, right? Where we can kind of... She can play without being like on the road. It's a castle, right? There's there's something out back. Basically, what I'm wondering is, do I know? Uh, you would about the outside area. Yeah, you would know that there's a okay. The farm is out there. Gotcha. As you descend. Actually, not here. Uh, she she leads you through, and as you get closer, she like with each step closer, she quickens her pace. And she darts down this hall, rounds the corner. lands into her grandfather. Like she really hits him pretty hard? Like full speed? Not full speed. She just rounds the corner and runs into him. Man, I didn't want to talk to him. He's such a jerk. I think to myself... I think to myself, rate the chick. No. Okay. Dead out of ten. Oh. Hey there, sir. We were just going outside. Play some games. Funny running into you here. Yes, well... Do be careful, my. I heard that there is a, um, an uninvited guest on the premises. He looks at you pointedly. Precisely the kinds of people you were supposed to keep out. If it's a woman, uh, I did attempt to keep her out, actually. She came to the front door, I meant to tell you about that. And I told her to go away. My primary job here is actually watching your your granddaughter. I just happen to be at the door. Your job is to keep her safe. From any and all threats. Does, Does she look unsafe? She may be. The woman you sent away did not leave. Be on your guard. And he continues on down the hall. I like the way he moves. Where did he go? Very good question. He's gone. And visit Ishe once in. I mean, I can move you to the GM layer, but then you won't. No. Then you'll uncover the like the holder in the basement that we're gonna fight yeah. later. Yeah, right. (laughs) 
And I wish I asked him some more questions about the woman. What woman? Who? <laughs> the one that Not he said me. is still here. Yeah, you're like, oh, she's still here? Cool. Well, I mean... That's just funny. Here's the thing. He sent away from me to watch his granddaughter, right? You'd think he'd have some guards. Some, like, people on the tower outside, That's like, you. looking around. No, I'm guarding the kid. He's the bodyguard. I'm the kid the guy. the granddaughter. I'm supposed to play fucking guard. tarot cards and chill. All right, we're outside. What do you want to do? She immediately runs over to the enclosure here. She waves excitedly at uh, the goats. One of them lets out a mat and approaches. Do you have any wares I can purchase today, sir? He doesn't sell things, he's a goat. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's play the Stupid. game we've been practicing. Let's play Count the Goats. What? We haven't been... What? I just like listening to you try to count. I can count. Yeah, count the goats. Okay, one, um, two, seven, it's three, possibly four, if you get that far. Anyway, we'll try again tomorrow, don't worry. You'll get a prize when you can count the goats. I don't think Gus likes you. Who's Gus? She pats Gus the goat. He likes me. I hold my hand out. Give me a... Uh, I'm a little petaroo, an animal hand wave. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. Dan, don't bite me, Gus. For... For a split second, your hand's life flashes before your eyes as this goat sizes up your hand. And it looks like it's going to bite. But it realizes you're not food. And it basically headbutts your hand. Cutely or like back the fuck up? The first one. Okay. Uh, you gotta assert dominance, man. So you got my boy. It was just the bro fist in goat form. Brute fist. Brute. So are we allowed to take Gus out of his pen here? What does your grandpa let you do? Um... They don't let me take them out, but sometimes they do. Really? I like her. Yeah, Moxie. Can we? What do we usually do when we take them out? Where are we taking them? Well, he goes and plays, and eats bushes. And your grandpa lets this happen. I think we should leave. We should leave Gus inside for now. Maybe next time. Ha, ha, kiddo. Grandpa doesn't handle the animals. The farmhands do. Right, of course. Grandpa's too important. Mm-hmm.
You know what? What could possibly go wrong? Let's take Gus. Let's take Gus for a walk. Let him eat a bush or two. She jumps and starts fiddling with the gate. And as she does, the others start crowding around. Uh, hang on a second. Here. I have a feeling if you open that gate, it's not just going to be Ghost to Ghost coming out of here. This feels like a mistake. You're just appearing from oh my nowhere. God, dude. Just like real life goats. They were in the goat house. They were in the goat house. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna leave that closed, actually. Uh, and stop, stop messing with the gate. I think they know what's going on here. I think they might be a little hungry. She is still messing with it. I'm just gonna grab her and be like, "Hey, stop, bed." <laughs> As you grab her, I'm not good with kids. It's in my character's description. As you grab her, give me a perception check. Whoa. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Natural I, I 20. I whatever it is. Okay, you know. Yeah, you see, she finally, uh, after a bit of fidgeting, she finally gets the latch loose just mm. as you pull her away. But the gate is still closed. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly, dexterously just kind of put that back the way it was. Just as you do, four goats slam against it. Yep. Accurate. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Fucking goats. <laughs> but I did I did lock it, right? You did. But now they're being rowdy. They are being rowdy. Come on, let them out. Uh, do they have any of those machines around here where you put a quarter in and it gives you goat food? They do not. Okay. It's way advanced in the future from now. I kind of figured. <laughs> Worth a shot. Who knows? I really don't think we should let these goats out. But Gus yeah. wants to eat flowers. Yeah, the problem is there's nine of them. And we're both like three feet tall. It's we only be... let Gus out. How do we only let Gus out? I don't know. You know what? Let's open the gate. Oh my god. Let's have some fun. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh no. You open gonna, the gate? Uh, what could possibly go kinda, wrong? Uh, does, does Gus have anything like... Uh, are they just... Goats? Is there anything around his neck or something? I could, like, try and pull him out real quick. Um, they are all collared, yeah. Okay, so Gus is the goat that's pretty much closest to the gate. I'm gonna try and open it a crack and grab and pull out Gus really quick. Oh, give me a, um... Give me a sleight of hand. You grab Gus and you pull him out. However, roll me a D3. How you do that? Like slash roll one d three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, one goat. Nice. That's how many goats you caught, though. <laughs> Out of the three At that all escaped. All the rest of them yeah. are gone. <laughs> Actually, not that one. This one, because it was closest. It 
barrels past. That's out of Matt. Darts off. You're gonna be in so much trouble. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, that went better than I thought it would. I have to go get that goat now, though. Kind of frustrating. But I hope you and Gus are happy. She is rubbing him. And he is. Man. Yeah, and he, it, it looks kind of rough, especially for her size. He's just sort of nudging her around. But she doesn't appear to be in any sort of pain. Are you sure you play with this goat? Gus is my favorite. Are you sure this goat is Gus? Because that other goat looks a lot like Gus, too. Um, she looks at him. Looks at the other one. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. You Gus, right? Matt. See? Is that Gus's voice? Is it, do you recognize that? Yep, this is Gus. Okay. Make sure that, uh... Damn, are there... Is, is there, like, any rope around or anything like that that I could tie him up, kind of? Maybe to, like, the fence here so he doesn't wander too far? You see a... a bit of rope fastened to the side of this house here. Or this... enclosure. On the inside. The structure. On the inside of the gate, yeah. It's fastened to the outside of the structure. Does it look like it would reach us here? Taken. Does it look like it would reach us here? Well, I mean, it, it it's wound, and it's on a hook. Oh, okay. So fastened doesn't mean tied to. No. Gotcha. All right. Uh, you watch Gus for a second. I gotta go grab that rope. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hop over the fence here. This feels like I'm, I'm gonna get eaten by goats. That's such a yeah. You probably <laughs> that's such a <laughs> shitty way to go. <laughs> or mauled by goats. Give me um. Cannibal goats. No wait. Carnivorous. So carnivorous. Carnivorous, yeah. carnivorous goats. That's They're terrifying. just gonna headbutt you to death anyway. Yeah, or kick you. Bunch of assholes. Hey, give me uh, an acrobatics. Shoe holes, holes in your clothing when you're just trying to pet them. Goats are the worst. I had one rip a, a pin off of my shirt. <laughs> They're so And mean. just eat it? Yep. Wow, what a guy. I was I petting some baby goats and they all... Shirt. He just wanted a piece like of you to remember you. Me. Oh no! No. Oh. My cousins had goats, and there was this one that was bigger than the rest of them, and every time you would come up to the gate, and you'd come into, like, their little pen, it would come charging at you. Like, Jeez. full speed, it would charge at you. God. It was terrifying. <laughs> and my cousins were like, oh, it's fine, and they would have to, like, jump on top of barrels and shit, <laughs> and, like, tree trunks. They're like, it's, it's fine, they do this all this the time. This is normal! This is not normal, and it's not okay, and it's really scary. Yeah. I like how our majority have goat stories. Yeah, Everyone I've never even, like, story. seen a goat. <laughs> really? I've seen baby goats at, like, petting zoos, and they're fucking cute. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. I pet a goat at, like, a nope, petting zoo in New York. Nope, they're fucking evil. Little babies, well, this they wasn't, wasn't, in your clothes. Yeah, this one wasn't chewing on me or headbutting me. He just let me pet him. Like, he knew the score. My rabbits chewed holes That's why I want one of those computer machines out here. <laughs> to distract them. I love that shit, man. <laughs> I had a rabbit bite my lip once. Oh my gosh. Why were you Ow. kissing rabbits? <laughs> well, make it out with rabbits. Okay, so. Look, don't kink shame, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It was my, my sister had, uh, well, my brother had a rabbit and my sister had a rabbit. 
Um, Sister Rabbit was named Sweetie, which was bullshit. <laughs> Evil Rabbit? It's prudent. Evil, One of those yeah. ironic names. Yeah. yeah. She was also named Snowflake. Well, she was nicknamed Sweetie, but that took precedent because her actual name was Snowflake. She was a pure white uh, bunny when she was born. She was just a pile of white fluff, and then her fur turned gray, like a very dark gray, so it was no longer applicable. Oh, gotcha. But uh, sister's birthday, we had birthday cake. I was sitting on the couch. The rabbit was out. She hopped up onto the couch, onto me, and bit my lip. Was it carrot <laughs> cake? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was not carrot cake. <laughs> Russ, that was hilarious. Thanks. Thanks for laughing. Glad we're friends. Just like, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> she's a good rabbit, but she like is so cranky sometimes if she doesn't get her way and it pisses They're me off. They're grumpy. Yeah. She's always stomping her feet at me like she's the boss. You're not the boss, Prudence! She knows. I love animals. <laughs> now she's going to start rattling her cage. She probably yeah. will. Her door is open. Heard you talking shit. Okay. Anyway. So, <laughs> back to Roblox getting mauled by goats. Roblox uh, is 16. You, I'm going to get injured by goats. You you deftly hop the fence, and I'll say even with that, you get to the length of rope. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, no. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> oh, one turn towards you. Oh. oh, hey there, little, yep. little buddy. This is how it starts. <laughs> Rolling it. On? Now you gotta play Cluster Truck and hop on one of these goats to get out. Dude, I was so good at Cluster Truck. And you'll be fine here, no problem. I don't think it works that way. Life is just a dice roll, man. Alright. In unison, they all let out a mat. Can I make out what they're saying? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> they all start approaching. Give me an animal handling check. Alright, I'm gonna need roll 20. I don't ask for much. Uh, just not a death by ghost. Simple pleasures. Just, just roll like an 18. Fuck. Oh. Did you say 8? I, it heard half of the word I said. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fuck? a goat pile. <laughs> they charge and they jump and they bite at your clothes. They bite at the rope. Give me a dexterity check. Oh, thank God. That's a good roll. Too bad it's a save, so it doesn't yeah. count. Oh, come on. I didn't know how to <laughs> click on it. I still don't know how to do a regular dexterity one. It's just the word dexterity. Just click on the stat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was well, the, same the same thing anyway. Yeah, it's so the same yeah. modifier. Yeah, no, we're definitely taking the 22. Mm-hmm. But, uh... So, after being pounced and pummeled for a good 30 seconds. You see an opening, you take it, and you dart out from under them and Rope scale the fence. Rope in hand or no? Rope in hand. Oh, yeah. I would have fought some goats if I had to. Meanwhile, Yenna is laughing. Something funny about that? What, what just happened back there? She puts a hand over her mouth and shakes her head. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tie old Gus up to these logs. What are the sturdiest thing I can find? Is it the fence, probably? Can you move yourself out of there because I... Oh, sure.